Any system that involves electrical wiring is usually installed and maintained by an electrician. Almost every building has electrical power, communications, lighting, and a control system that is installed during construction and maintained after that. These systems power the lights, appliances, and equipment that make people's lives and jobs easier and more comfortable. Hey everyone, Angelica here from Build Your Path. The topic of today's video, <sighs> electricians. Electricians are a vital part of the built environment because they provide the light and energy we use and rely on every day. In addition to installing and maintaining electrical wiring, electricians may read blueprints, inspect electrical transformers, and make repairs. In terms of work environment, electricians can work indoors or outdoors, but that varies depending on the job site. About 10% of electricians are self-employed. So if you want to start your own business, becoming an electrician could be for you. As a skilled trade, most electricians start their careers off with an apprenticeship, getting on the job training and going to school at night. Now, we take a brief second to recognize the gracious sponsors of this video. Stanley Black & Decker, our title sponsor, is on a mission to be a force for good. This means inspiring makers and innovators to create a more sustainable world. This role relates to helping solve the world's challenges, such as climate change, income inequality, and workforce development. Stanley Black & Decker empowers students and makers, especially women and people of color, to pursue careers in the STEAM education and the trade skills. Stanley Black & Decker is connected with the community in Maryland, engaging in career exploration with students, sponsoring trade schools and maker spaces, and challenging the status quo of a typical career. When you think of an electrician, you probably think of residential electricians, ones that work inside your home. But there are more types of electricians than you might realize. Commercial electricians work on much larger projects, including offices or even malls. Industrial electricians work on power plants, chemical plants, manufacturing facilities, and more. Low voltage electricians are among the fastest growing careers in the industry. They work on internet systems, fiber optic networks, and security systems. Being an electrician is considered a trade career that generally requires an apprenticeship to become licensed. Although the primary requirement to become an apprentice electrician is a high school diploma, Many aspiring electricians attend technical school. Apprenticeships typically last four years, and from there you can go on to attain a journeyman status. Many go on to become master electricians, which requires additional education and professional experience. All right, now it's time to hear from an actual electrician. We went on site at TEI Electrical Solutions to hear what Tina had to say. Can you take me through a typical day in the life? Six o'clock on the dot, we clock in on the iPad and then we get into the job site and if I was doing something the day before, I can just kind of get right back into that groove. And I'll typically be sectioned off with a, a journeyman who can give me some guidance as to what we're doing and how to do it and supervise and make sure things go smoothly. Why do you think apprenticeships are a better alternative than college? As someone who did get a degree, the broke college student thing was very, very real. I worked 30 hours a week through school and I had nothing to show for it because it was not great money. Whereas with the trades, the moment you start, you have a really great pathway you have a career that you're working towards. And then the other aspect of it would just be, I have a skill that no one can take away from me. And there's always going to be a need for it. That was another reason why I wanted to go into the trades. If I have a problem with anything electrical at my house, I can solve that. I don't have to pay someone. I don't have to call someone. I don't have to wait. What do you enjoy most about your job? I love solving puzzles. My favorite thing that I get an opportunity to do at work is install conduit because it's a puzzle in which I get to create the puzzle pieces and put them together and map everything out. So what do you like most about working at TEI? Well, I like the people that work at TEI. TEI is very receptive when I tell them that I want to hone in on a certain skill or I 
I think a certain person is a mentor to me. They listen to that. It's been very helpful considering it was a big change for me to move into this industry. Can you give advice or any pointers for people who are not used to working as a team? You know, listen to others and their ideas, communicate effectively, and really, really legitimately care about like the well-being of everyone else because if you don't do that then you're going to just sit on the sidelines or let someone else sit on the sidelines. What does it mean to be a woman in the trades? When I decided to do this job it was it was not anything about trying to like affect change it was wow that sounds like a good career you know yeah. like that and now that I'm here I guess I should probably try and help where I can to let people understand more about the job. I'll do my duty. <laughs> Inspiring others. Maybe some young girls will look at this and be like, I can do that too, and then get more women and Man, other people in it. I trip. hope so. I would like to get a better uh, pipeline to the schools. Some of the young people there, and you know, obviously young women, I would be excited about wanting to, to go into the trades, but so far there isn't a good pipeline. Hopefully it comes soon. Yeah, hopefully. Or build it, maybe bend it. Yeah, I could <laughs> just bend, the pipe. bend it with the bender over there. That'd be good. Well, thank you for showing me around the warehouse and giving me more information about electricians. You're welcome. And thank you for having me. I'm glad that I can be here and share my experience and hopefully rally some troops. <laughs> okay, so you've heard from me and now you've heard from the expert. What do you think? Spark any ideas? Is becoming an electrician something worth checking out? I'll leave you with this. Being an electrician is an awesome career, and here's why. Make money right away. As an electrician, you can go right into the workforce and earn while you learn as an electrical apprentice. Earnings potential. In the mid-Atlantic region, typical electricians make $60,000 or more, while master electricians can make well over 90 grand a year all without any school loans. The gender gap is closing. Long considered a male-only profession, women, like Tina, are increasingly joining the trades. And companies are evolving to make the workplace safe and welcoming. Demand. The construction industry needs to fill over 400,000 construction jobs this year alone to meet demand. There will always be a need for tradespeople, electricians especially. Have any questions? I'd be shocked if you didn't. Think of Build Your Path as a resource for those thinking about entering the workforce. Click on our links below to help you better navigate the next steps of your career. Finally, we couldn't do this video without our sponsor, Stanley Black & Decker. Find their links in the description below and be sure to follow them on social media. That'll do it for me, Angelica signing off. Bye!